Now, tetrahedral and trigonal planar geometries are the ones you should be most familiar with because you're very likely to encounter those. The tetrahedron is single bonds in a four bond arrangement, and that has a 109.5 degree bond angle that you should be aware of. And trigonal planar has a 120 degree bond angle. But there are two other shapes that come up when you have either five or six atoms bound to a central atom. And so these are the trigonal bipyramidal or bipyramidal. And this is when you have five bonds. Notice the bonds uh, listed here in black. There are five different atoms bound to the central one. And that forms a triangle base that's linear. And that forms the base of a pyramid going up here and a pyramid going down there. So it's bipyramidal because it's two pyramids and it's trigonal because you have this triangle that forms the base of that. So whenever there is a five atom binding arrangement, look for the trigonal bipyramidal geometry. And one that you'll encounter a fair bit will be the octahedron, which is when there are six atoms binding your central atom there. And so notice the six bonds here drawn in black. And that forms a square base that forms a pyramid going up and a pyramid going down. And rather than calling that quadrilateral, bipyramidal or something like that, it's called an octahedron because if you were to look at how many faces of the pyramid there are, there are going to be eight of those. And so the octahedron is something you encounter when you have six bonds and when that ends up giving you a square base that creates a pyramid going to the top and a pyramid going to the bottom. All in all, you have eight faces and so that forms the octahedron. So know your trigonal bipyramidal ge geometry, know your octahedron, and know tetrahedron and trigonal planar very well. And for those two, keep in mind the angles between those bonds as well.